Okay, uh, thank you very much, Dirk. Uh, hello to everyone. Um, I would like to share with you just for five minutes uh, our, our new dashboard uh, on visitor satisfaction in the, in the city of Buenos Aires. Please let me know if you are uh, watching this okay. My full screen. We can see it. Yeah. Um, I would like to share with you the we we created this new dashboard on visitor satisfaction in the city of Buenos Aires uh, with a big data approach for sustainable tourism. As you may see, we based the information uh, um, taken from available data in public uh, digital platforms. Uh, almost we analyzed almost three hundred thousand online reviews in the last ten years. Um, so the tourists that came to Buenos Aires, they, they rated different attractions as excellent, very good, uh, average or, or, or poor. We, we could locate those attractions. For example, we divided them in many categories. As you may see, we got museums, we've got historic buildings, uh, shopping centers, um, commercial streets, religious sites, theaters, so we can understand uh, what uh, tourists are, uh, what is the tourism experience, what is the tourist satisfaction within any of, of these uh, places in, in our city. We, for example, parks were identified uh, a total of 841 attractions in the city. And for this reason, we created also this positioning map, which led us to compare the travel rating so the, the visitor satisfaction and the number of online reviews per attraction. Uh, you may see, for example, here in the top right corner, there are the, the best rated attractions and the most commented ones. Uh, each point is a specific attraction. For example, this is uh, the Opera House of Teatro Colón. There are many museums. So in one hand, we have um, an opportunity for promotion, those best rated attractions, but also we have here on, on the left, we have um, a large number of, of attractions of museums that are much less commented, but highly rated. So for us, opportunity to promote new products, new services in, in less crowded areas, uh, giving opportunity for, for residents living in those areas, in those neighborhoods of, of Buenos Aires, to create new products, to improve their quality of life um, based on these online reviews by, by visitors. Uh, of course, we have this information uh, at a neighborhood level. Buenos Aires has um, 48 neighborhoods. So, for example, we can uh, look in a specific neighborhood, for example, Palermo, and we can ident identify the top attractions by tourism satisfaction. In this case, for example, is uh, Palermo Park, Museum of, of, of Fine Arts, Latin American Museums, or the Japanese Garden, which are top attractions and with a highly rated and, and very good uh, um, service uh, from the perception of the tourist. And also we can identify the, the top uh, uh, most commented attractions in a specific neighborhood. For example, in this case, Palermo, we also have that in, in Recoleta, um, San Telmo, which is the historic part of the city. So this helps us also to spread the tourism activity to improve areas, to help managers, uh, managing sites, managing attractions, to work with other areas of the, of the municipality of Buenos Aires to understand the, the importance of the impact of the tourism within the city. And each of uh, those 841 attractions, we can look specifically, for example, this is Abasto Shopping, which is an important shopping mall, and we can understand what is the, the evaluation the, by the tourists? For example, this has 3.8 out of 5. Uh, we can understand if that uh, tourist made that online review, um, if they travel by couple, with friends, with family. So this is a huge information that will soon be public in our tourism intelligence system in, in Buenos Aires. And for us, uh, it's a very, a very help, helpful tool. And, and finally, we, this is the last part of the dashboard. Um, we can click in any, in any point and uh, it, it uh, says 
what are the five closest points to that attraction. So with this tool, we can create walking tours, specifically in these COVID times where, where not public transportation is stimulated. So we can understand for, for on, the, on the one hand, the concentration of attractions and how is the, the opinion and the evaluation of tourists. And on the other hand, as you may see those empty places in the city to promote new areas and to promote uh, new opportunities for income and for jobs for those uh, residents living there in, in our city. So this was a, a quite uh, a quick look for, for this dashboard. Of course, of course I'm uh, open to any question and, and thank you again for, for the opportunity, Dirk and all Insta members.